today I wanted to share with you some of the research I've been doing for my new series. Uh, the first book is coming out in October, as you know, and it is The Little Shop of Found Things. And I've recently been to Grukern, which is in Somerset, um, and I've been doing some antiquing, and I'm going to show you some of the things I found there. Um, one of the great things about writing a book about an antique shop is you get to look at lots of antiques, go scouring the countryside for found things, uh, so that I can include them in my story. So stick around because I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the series and later on the video I will give you a teaser for book two. you might like to know is that the series itself has a title now. We've decided that, so it will be called The Found Things series. Um, I gave this quite a lot of thought because actually, um, as you know when you're looking at books, and I know from my experience with the witchy books, when buyers are looking for something to read, they want to make sure if it is a series they're getting book one and then they're getting the other books in the right order. Um, so having come up with an idea for the title for the first book, The Little Shop of Found Things, I needed to think, okay, that's quite a long title and we can't be having the first book in the Little Shop of Found Things series or book two in the Little Shop of Found Things. I can't even say it. Okay, so we thought about what was in the book and what were the key elements. And in the end, I just kept coming back to Found Things. So it will be the Found Things series. And this is book one. Um, some of the antiques you've been looking at there will be featured in book one and book two and maybe on into book three. As you know, each book centres around an object that the main character, Xanthi, connects to and it has a story to tell her and she goes back into the past to discover the meaning of that story and to put right a wrong that is connected to it. So the fan things are really important. They, they inspire me. They help me come up with um, a central idea for the story. Um, so the little shop of fan things obviously was largely about the shop to begin with because we needed to set the scene and take you to their new place to where Xanthi and her mother Flora were going to be setting up their business and of course then I had to stock the shop and those of you who have looked into it will know that the object in the first book is a chatelaine, a silver chatelaine which is um, worn by the lady of the house um, or the housekeeper with all the things they'll need, maybe keys, um, sewing kit, maybe a mirror, um, maybe perfume bottle, things like that later became a bit more frivolous but in the beginning, um, at the time when this was set, they were a bit more practical. Um, anyway, that was the first object, um, the silver chatelaine, which I don't have one to show you because actually not only are they rare, they start at about a thousand pounds nowadays, they usually the good ones are made of silver and I couldn't really afford to, to get one to keep it just as a nice talisman for my story, which is a shame, but I have enjoyed collecting one or two of the little fitments and attachments that go on them. You might like to look out for those when you're antiquing. You will often find a needle case or a pair of scissors or something like that that once did come from a chatelaine, if you, know, if you can't afford the whole thing. So, a little reveal for book two. I am going to show you what the main item is that is at the centre of book two. So, hang on, it's not the 
cat. <laughs> cat's, cat's an integral part of my writing system, but she's not in the book. So here is the central item of book two. Now I wonder if any of you know what this is. Um, it's quite old. It, it says it's about 17th century. I doubt it's that old, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's probably Victorian, but it's made to look like it came from, from an earlier era. It's made of copper, although the finial, finial at the top seems to be brass. I think that was added later. It's missing part of its handle. Here it would have had um, a, a wooden handle coming out here because obviously you don't want that to get hot because what goes in will, in here will be hot. Um, I think I might get a new handle put on it. I just know someone in the village who's very good at wood turning, so we're hoping he's going to make a handle for me. Um, so Xanthi finds one of these in book two and it is crucial that she understands what it is and where it came from and what it's about. So if any of you know what this is, put it in the comments below, um, share with us. I might tell you soon, maybe in another um, in another video, I'll be revealing the title of book two and uh, that might tell you a little bit more about this it's a very special found object. Okay, so um, I hope that's uh, intriguing for you and I'll have more about book two later on, but uh, book one is coming out the 2nd of October in the USA and Canada and I hope to have some more release dates for you in other territories soon too. So in the meantime, happy antiquing, good luck with finding found things and happy reading.